It's the annual fall roundup on the most famous ranch in the world. And on King Ranch in deep south Texas, the cowboys, or vaqueros as they are known in Spanish, start their day early. King Ranch sprawls across 825,000 acres in southernmost Texas, an area larger than the state of Rhode Island. And it will take these seasoned vaqueros several weeks on horseback to work the ranches some 60,000 head of cattle. Many of these cowboys have grown up on the ranch. Working cattle is in their blood. Uh, my uh, great-grandfather, Juvencio Garcia, uh, was uh, caporal here for the Norris Division for several years. And, uh, and my grandpa, uh, Nicolás Rodríguez Sr., he was a vaquero. I'm fourth generation on my mom's side and third generation on my dad's side. The cowboys work together in perfect harmony as they sort through the herds. Weaning calves and selecting cattle for breeding are those destined for market. As the lunch hour draws near, Robert Hinojosa takes a break from his duties as a vaquero and tends a mesquite fire in one of the old cowboy camp fireplaces. We got some curry salad with some green pepper onions. Normally the vaqueros would not take an extended break for lunch, but as the roundups draw to a close, they will occasionally prepare an old-fashioned camp meal that includes pan de campo, the traditional camp bread. Being a King Ranch cowboy does have its rewards. I'm living everybody's dream, but well, we are. Because uh, everybody in the, in the lifetime, once in their lifetime, uh, imagine being a cowboy. And uh, we're living it. With your nature report, I'm Richard Moore.